My name is Wendy Anderson Applegren, and uh, I'm a senior financial analyst, so you would think I wouldn't be in this situation. My name is Gerald Lee. Uh, I work for LADWP as a construction equipment mechanic. My first name is Jenny, last name is Wayne. I work in LA County Sheriff RN. Uh, my name is Blanche Alfie. I work for the Department of Motor Vehicle. My name is Dimar Chikwe. I'm a teacher. My name is Basil Avery. I am the owner of uh, Global Security Networks. My name is Sylvia Bolton and I came here today to see about a loan modification for my property because my property is at the point where it's towards a foreclosure. My name is Chris Mendoza and uh, circumstances that brought me here today was the the rates on the loans change and it went from you know a certain point to uh, almost double. My spouse and I uh, just recently adopted two school-age girls, siblings, um, and we had a we have a small home in Norwalk. Uh, our expenses increased a lot more than we expected when we got our two children, um, and it kind of we were unprepared for how much more our expenses would really increase. We didn't think it would be that big. I've never gone into getting an adjustable loan before. I've heard of people doing it, but I've never done it. And I was strongly encouraged by my lender to do this this time. I um, needed some money on the house, so I did refinance. This gentleman I went to, he did my refinance, but he didn't tell me that it was one of those that it goes up and down and I have to pay much more later on. And then when I became disabled, I couldn't make the payments anymore. Back in August, I was given a notice of layoff. I worked for the Boeing company for 24 years. And I was given a, a notice of layoff in two months, which was October 22nd was my last day being employed. I'm working, my wife is working, but she had a higher paying job um, that was cut due to some, you know, the recession. And uh, now she's a lower paying job, so our income has changed quite dramatically. Um, we ended up refinancing our home, expecting uh, that we could pay off debt, and therefore, you know, we'd be able to manage our monthly mortgage payment along with our um, other monthly expenses. When I bought my home, we had a three year fixed and then uh, it adjusted after the three years, okay? When my, after the three years, well, prior to the three years uh, being up, I knew that it was gonna adjust and turn into an arm, so I tried to go in, try to get a loan modification about six months prior to my loan adjusting. We've had some health issues. Uh, my spouse is currently on uh, disability, and we just found that we went through our savings just to pay our monthly expenses. So now we have no savings and no way to completely pay all of our expenses and our mortgage. I tried to do my own loan modification. Uh, countrywide kept on putting me back and back and back. They were overwhelmed with all the modifications that were going on. So this process took a year. I ended up at that point saying uh, it wasn't going to get done so I hired an attorney. Uh, the attorney took my money, took $1,500 as a deposit, didn't do anything. I was looking around a couple months ago and I contacted an attorney um, who required payment up front who we have not signed with, um, but he advised us to stop making our mortgage payments because the mortgage company won't deal with us unless we're in um, default. Thank you. I don't know, I, I you know, wasn't too swift on, uh, you know, the, ra the rates and all that stuff and then I figured, you know, I would buy in and buy a house and get it and then you know, as it goes up I'd refi and you know get the rate lower but the, the payments stay the same and it just everything went backwards everything turned upside down you know with the economy and whatnot and uh, I just needed I need a change I, I can't I don't want to be a sinking ship I could see it I could you know it's, it's foreseeable in the future but I'm not in that bad of trouble right now I mean I can still afford the payment but it's it's super high it's like you know should I pay my house payment or should I buy a Ferrari it's that kind of a uh, situation I'm in When you come to events like this, 
you're going to get the right information, okay? Because people can feed you with all kinds of different things and it might not be what the truth is. So when you come down here, at least you're going to get the right information. They're going to give you some step by step by step process to be able to, you know, hopefully uh, be able to resolve whatever situation you're in. I found it to be very organized as to the first thing they want to know, are you in default? Do you have a notice of sale? And if you're not, it's, you place you in an area that uh, you sit there and you only have to sit maybe half an hour, 40 minutes at the most, and you're at a counselor's desk. I thought we were going to be standing for five hours. We did not stand for five hours. They, they took us in, they gave us a number, we were able to sit comfortably. And actually talking to the people sitting around us about their situation gave us a little insight because some of them were farther along in the process. They'd already filed with their mortgage company to try and get a, a restructure. Um, so just sharing with the people sitting around you in the same situation was really helpful in helping to evaluate what we want to do. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, I don't know. The importance to come out and seek help and some people may be sitting on the fence because when I first heard about this program I wondered if it was something that would benefit me or is it something that would waste my time. But in coming out, I came out early this morning and stood in line and waited and it was well worth the wait. And I found out it is legit. They are helping people. Some people are getting on the spot help. Some people are on a track to getting help and it's well worth the time because when you look at a decision of waiting until some marshals show up on the door or invest my time now and avoid that by getting something that my family and I can live with and cause us not to be stressed out by bills we cannot pay. Uh, I would choose standing in line, going through the process and getting it worked off and getting that load off of my mind. In my opinion, I think that if, if you let it worry, you let yourself worry about it, it'll make you sick. You know, you got blood pressure, sugar, all that stuff. And you know, to, for you to take charge of it, rather than to sit there and let the bank tell you what to do, I think you're better off, health-wise anyway. Or you gotta learn to let something go, you know. I wish that instead of uh, doing what I thought was right and contact contacting an attorney who advised me to stop making my payments three months ago, that I had contacted our, our mortgage company or come to one of these places, at least to get educated on what they can do for you and what they cannot do for you. I encourage people, I mean, people that I know that are having a hard time. A girlfriend of mine here, is, is here today because I encouraged her to come down because they are helping thousands of people. They are getting the help. People are coming back and testifying and saying how their loan went from 2,500, 2,800 to, to 12 to 1,400. Big difference and that's what taxes and insurance included. When you go to seek help, you will find some because there is many helps and opportunities out here. It's just in knowing and it's in seeking and trying to find out. But if you just sit and expect the help to come to you, you are not going to get it. You're going to lose. You're going to miss out. I, I just think I wouldn't be in such a stressful, we would not be in such a stressful position right now of not knowing if we're going to lose our home. It, had we come to one of these a couple of months ago when we knew we were in trouble. So I encourage people to come down and get their documents together. If you don't have anything that you need, contact your lender, have them send you your notes. Do what you have to do to come down. It's all it is is your time, your time. And the worst thing it can be, the worst thing that, that could happen is that you got more information on how to handle everything. Not let the house go, not continue to ruin our neighborhoods, not continue to have property value go upside down. They are helping people out here. They are helping us. So right now they're trying to fix it. Uh, Obama's trying to fix it. They have some, uh, uh, they've instituted some uh, programs now, uh, which hopefully is going to help a person like myself. Uh, but the main thing that I've, I've uh, learned through this whole process is, is again, never give up. You know, don't quit on it. Uh, continue to work and push and uh, with the Lord's help and just with some you know, simple, simple faith, uh, I believe that it's gonna get done. But uh, the main thing that I wanna emphasize is don't ever give up, never give up.